Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Man 25 Ultimate Team Gameplay. Today we're starting up Season 8 a little bit early. As you see, Barry Sanders is in the squad. We got Johnny Football joining the squad. We got Rob Gronkowski at tight end. But um, yeah, the big acquisition is obviously Johnny Football. As you see, we also got Sean Lee and my boy Lawrence Taylor. You know, I have to get my giant Lawrence Taylor there. Ragpo is awesome, but I mean... LT is LT, man. You can't pass up the opportunity to get LT. And in our first game, our first game ended pretty quickly. First of all, Sean Lee made his impact known pretty quickly, getting the interception. Already more interceptions than Ray Lewis ever got for me. So that's cool. Secondly, um, this guy just quits right here. I mean, he forces me to a field goal and then he quits. I don't know. He might have like, had to leave or something. This was played at like 3 o'clock in the morning yesterday. And if you know anything about me, if you stuck on my channel for a while, you know that when I play Madden late at night, I don't really do smart things. Like, first of all, I received the ball here. I went to coin toss and actually received the ball. I'm like, you know what? We're bringing Johnny Football on the field right now, God damn it! First play of the game, we hit the out route to Randy Moss, and I accidentally juke away. Or else that might have been a touchdown for all we know. But next play, look at Moss burning his matchup one-on-one, -on -one, but Johnny misses the mark. Oh, man, just a little bit. And you see I'm rocking these Giants jerseys. I had to rock the Giants jerseys for a game because... I was going to go to the auction block and buy some Browns jerseys for um, home, but there were none. And look at Johnny Football making plays already. But yeah, there were no Browns jerseys on the auction block. It was pretty weird last night that um people like overreacted that much about Johnny Football. There was no Browns jerseys. This is really, really weird. But um, you see Barry Sanders running the ball. You know, Barry Sanders got 99 juke and 99 bunch of spin and all that. So I had to get my hands on him for a little bit. As you see, we throw the interception. That's my fault because I threw it on the run. I would have just like stay my had my feet playing or whatever. Um, good chance that's a touchdown, and instead um the ball just followed up there. The one thing about Manziel, if you saw his um stat card, is he has 85 deep throws, so he's not exactly gonna be lobbing it, and no one's really gonna throw a bullet pass on the run like that. So unless you got that Roethlisberger that's like 101 throw on the run that um golden ticket one. And you see he hits Randy Moss in the slot. So yeah, I mean obviously I'm not playing my smartest Madden right now. I'm doing some like goofy stuff. I'm just having fun with the game. You know what I mean? I'm not like putting on my try hard pants to win or anything i'm just having fun with johnny football man that's what it's all about it's what it's all about we're in all man first string but um you know i'm just goofing around having some fun though on defense we gotta try a defense because i'm messing around on offense the defense has to stay locked out the defense that always bails me out has to continue to bail me out here fourth and five we do an okay job of that we force him to a field goal which looked like he might have shanked at first but he gets it in there but do you guys think about the nfl draft that happened last night though um the johnny manzel thing was obviously the number one storyline it's like ESPN created the Johnny Manziel storyline and it pretty much took over the draft. As for that's what all people cared about for the most part. All the analysts, all the people on Twitter and stuff like that. It was all about where Johnny was gonna land. Though otherwise, there were some pretty big moves. Like another quarterback, Blake Bortles, went number three to the Jaguars, which I don't know about that. It's fourth and inches, we actually run a pitch. I figured he would kill um I just took a gamble that he would um run commit there and he did, so you know we get buried the first down easily there. But um yeah. I mean, then we throw an interception next play. I thought it was man coverage, but it wasn't. That was my bad. And instead, DRC gets the pick and actually almost takes one, this one for six until Moss guns him down. But um, yeah, Bortles, I feel like that's a little bit of a reach. Blake Bortles at number three. Then um, Jadavion Clowney with number one to the Texans, as many people expected. Not that the Texans exactly needed D-line help, but that's one thing where um, the best player on the board, you would rather do that than take um, what you need. You know, I, I always feel that way. You, I feel like you're better off taking the best player on the board than what you need. And um... Let's see, dude. Um, Bucks got Mike Evans. The Bills traded up to get Sammy Watkins. Now, there's one thing. The best player on the board at number four, probably Sammy Watkins. But do you trade up and give up your first round pick for next year to get him? Eh, I, I don't know. I, I felt like I felt like that was a little bit too much for a team that doesn't even have a quarterback right now. We don't even know what EJ Manuel is. They might have the quarterback. EJ Manuel might be good, but they might not. So I don't know. I just felt like it wasn't. I don't, I don't, it didn't make sense to me. But I'm not an NFL GM, so anything I say is not right or wrong. It probably is wrong, if anything. As we throw it to Finneran, yes, that is the golden ticket Finneran, as you saw. Um, we're rocking golden ticket Finneran here for at least a few games in this season until. You know, I decide we sell them or whatever because, like, like I guess I've said before, I don't need them too much. And um, it's not like I'm really working these lob passes well anyways. When I lob it up to them, nothing really happens. So, yeah, some other stuff that happened in the draft. My Giants got a wide They got Odell Beckham Jr. I'm, I'm not too, like, familiar with most of these players. I really don't know anything about Odell Beckham Jr. Except for, the, like, the few highlights I saw on ESPN after he got drafted as Alshon Jeffrey breaks the press from Tracy, Tracy Porter. Like I said, whenever I try to press, it doesn't work. And then I come out of man coverage again, four verts, and somehow Jeffrey burns it 
for a touchdown. It's like, all right, all right, now going down 13 nothing in the half. All right, but yeah. I mean, I hope my Giants made a good pick. I wasn't really too happy about how they picked the third wide receiver off the board at number 12. I feel like, I don't know. It's, it's like I'm um, picking David Wilson right after Doug Martin. I, I don't know. I'm not too big of a fan of getting something you need. I just feel like you should get the best player. And I'm not too sure Odell Beckham Jr. was the best player on the board at the time. But, well, you know, who knows? Maybe he might be like a monster. Maybe he's going to be the number one receiver for years to come for the Giants. That's the hope, at least. As he gets the ball starting the third quarter since I received that ball at half. And um, that, that field goal might have been a little bit big. But we got to get a stop here, like, right now. If we want any chance to come back in this game. We need to give Johnny Football the ball with a chance. Because uh, Johnny Football, he'll get things going for us if we can get him the ball and here we send pressure i started mixing things up on defense man i was doing some dumb things on defense but there it actually worked second down 19 he gets flushed out the pocket and has to throw it away almost gets intercepted lt and the perimeter there and now third down and 19 we got pressure coming and he throws an interception to sean lee sean lee again coming up with the interception man gotta love that sean lee and now you know we get a touchdown here we got some time we got some time you know we could run some hard up here we were not in a panic right now there's like what six minutes left in this game that's a whole four quarter in a rank game we're, we're good man we're only down 10 um yeah some other stuff that happened in the draft um the vikings took teddy bridgewater which i think is a pretty good pick i've been a fan of bridgewater i think that's um i think they could rock with that you know um I think the, the Packers got that haha -ha Quentin Dix, dude. They definitely need safety help as Moss gets wide open. Speaking of safety help, the Jets didn't need safety help, but they got Calvin Pryor anyways, a pick that I like. And um, the Rams have a pretty good draft. I mean, the Rams had a good draft. As you see, Barry Sanders get the touchdown there to make it a three-point game, but they still don't have a quarterback. We don't know if they have a quarterback or not. So, I mean, it's kind of like the same situation with the Bills, except um, the Rams are probably a little bit better. It's where um, they got, a, obviously, a great D-line. They got the dude Donald. They have um, the tackle. But if Sam Bradford doesn't, like, show any, like, superstar potential or anything like that, or anything close, you know, it's all worth nothing. And it's like, oh, well, maybe you should have drafted a quarterback one of those years. But this is the buster, um, breaker bust year for, um... Sam Bradford though, so we're not gonna hear this. This is it for Bradford. If he doesn't do anything this year, it's pretty much done. But um, the Rams have held up. They, they just held it for a long time. As you see, he forced a fumble, but he gets it back. But next play, JJ Watt cracking the running back and LT on the recovery. We're only down three, and it's time for Johnny Football comeback magic in his first full game. Second down and eight. Look at that wide open downfield. Is Victor Cruz taking the top off the defense and Cruz to the end zone. Hit the salsa real quick. Manzel leading the comeback down 10 actually down 13 points in the second half or some I, I don't know we were down a lot we we're down 13 points right before halftime and that's what it was and then we got that big play of finner that allowed us to get a few points and now we're up by four needing one stop from our defense here as we get close to the two minute warning epic music starts to play john elway rolling out the pocket just fumbling the ball that john elway look at thurman thomas almost getting stripped there by sean lee sean lee trying to make plays here second down and six elway in the pocket throws it away and he gets it to isaac bruce who makes the trip Tremendous catch. I believe that's Isaac Bruce who got it. Next play, he goes up for Moss, but Moss can't come down with the one-handed catch. He couldn't Moss that man. Second down and 10. Elway, minute 10 left, gets cracked by LT. Injured, but he's coming back. But check out LT flying in there. Now third down, trying to get a big time stop. Elway flushed out. He's got to throw it away. Almost another sack. Now fourth and 10 game, potentially on the line. Can we come up with the stop? He's throwing it to the end zone, and there is Eddie. Reed with the interception, man. Gotta love Ed Reed staying on this team for another season. Now, first down ends this game, and right away we get eight yards, so that's really good. And he doesn't call his time now, he doesn't a lot of time runs, so it's like, alright. I'm gonna come out passing again because he's probably gonna send all our blitz. Nope, we're running the ball with Johnny football. Ball in Johnny's hand. Spin move by the defender. And we get the first down. Johnny Manziel spinning away from the defense and getting the game clinching first down. Now, obviously, I couldn't need the ball. But I was like, you know what? Let's give Johnny the ball a few more times. Running it. Spinning away. We'll get Manziel. If I could ever get Manziel to leave the pocket, man. 
magic happening, man. Magic happening. So, we come out the win here. I hope you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Actually, there was a little bit of drama here. I wasn't sure I was coming out the win because he ended up quitting as soon as the game ended. And I was like, oh, no, did I get booted or something? We get this connection lost. But we do come out the win, thankfully, as you guys are going to see on that home screen. So, hope you guys leave a like on the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed the Johnny Manziel gameplay. And leave a like if you want to see some more tomorrow. Um, subscribe for more, and I will catch you guys next time.